Hey guys, good morning. Rico here, Rico's Place. How you all doing this morning? I I woke up just uh, happy as a clam, excited for today. Uh, weather's beautiful. The storm's gone away. Uh, sun's coming up behind me here. And some of you might be looking and asking, Rico, what's that box sitting next to you? Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you. I'm excited about this box. I haven't had a big box in my house in a long time. And I got one now. And if you can see on it, I don't know if you can read it or not from that uh, distance, but it says Barrel House Cooker on it. On her? On it. On her? On it. I don't know. Big box her on it? I don't know. Anyways, um, that's a whole other story for another. Hey, don't lift the tool. But anyhow, this is the box that my Barrel House Cooker came in. Now, Barrel House Cooker, I'm not real sure how, uh, how long the company's been around, but I know they're doing a promotion right now, and they're, they're really uh, promoting and pushing this barrel-style cooking, which is a lot like an, uh, an ugly, drum, ugly drum cooker, smoker. Barrel House is giving these smokers away to YouTubers. People that do smoking videos, uh, grilling videos. Uh, my nephew Dutch, another another buddy of mine, uh, Daniel and Arms, uh, Arms Family Homestead. They got two of them because they, they they were smarter than Rico was. They worked out a deal where they would promote it, look at it, use it, evaluate it, and then they're going to give one away to their subscribers. I I didn't get that lucky, but what I got, what they don't got. I got access to Mr. Barrow House himself. But since I'm in Bakersfield, and it's a Bakersfield company, I was able to just drive across town and talk to Mr. Barrow House himself and pick mine up. Okay? I talked to him probably 30 minutes or so. Um... But I, but I picked his brain a little bit, and I kept saying, what about this? He go, Rico, well, Rico, don't, don't overthink this thing. Now, what they did with this cooker is they designed it so a moron can use it. Now, you all know who I'm talking about, Brother Gino. It, it's, all, it, it's designed where you put the charcoal in, put the meat in it, and you, you walk away from it. Now, why I'm excited about this is Last night, I did a trial run, and it was cold and rainy here in Bakersfield, and I cooked uh, two chickens in it. Nine pounds of bird, nine pounds of meat. And it held the temperature for about 224, 2, 250 in, in there for six, seven, eight hours on one thing of charcoal. I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was cool. Chicken came out spot on. Uh, looked beautiful. It was moist. It was, uh, it was good. So that got me pumped up to do today's video. Today's video, oh, you guys are saying, uh, Rico, let's take a look at this cooker. Let's do that. Guys, here it is. My, uh, my own personal Rico's Place, Base Camp Rico, Barrel House Cooker. Odie, get over here. Odie. Odie's running off to the coyote den again. Um, it, it. Guys, I like this, and you know, Rico, I don't, I don't sugarcoat stuff. I, uh, well, I tell it how it is half of the time. Most of the time, I'm uh, thinking about what it is, what it is, what it is. I'll tell you what. Last night, it was raining, it was cold. I put the chickens in. I left. I went. I went to town. I didn't even worry about the temp because everyone told me you don't have to worry about the temp. So I didn't, and I and I left. Okay, that was cool. Now, one of the things Mr. Barrel House said to me when he, when he, well, I went and met him, had to, you know, go through four gates of security. That's not true. But one of the things that uh, Mr. Barrel House had to, had to say about, about this, and, and I thought this was kind of funny because he looked at some of Rico's videos, um, and he goes, man, Rico, I think this thing's going to be a little too shiny for base camp. Well, what do you mean? I don't think this barrel's gonna fit in with your motif. You know, that kind of stuff. I go, oh, 
not not to worry. Those of you that know Rico knows that it won't take long for this thing to look right like it belongs here at, at, a, at base camp. Um, I'll try to cover it with the tarp because Lord knows I'm not taking it out of base camp every night and bringing it back. It'll get covered with a tarp. and We all know how long that's going to last. It won't be long before the dogs knock it over, gets a dent. So pretty soon it'll be looking just fine for base camp. That, that's, don't worry, Mr. Barrel House. We'll do it. But my plan today, and I'm doing a little uh, collaboration with my nephew Dutch out in Oklahoma. He, he's done, and, and check out his videos. I, I'll put a link. Uh, I don't know where it goes. There'll be a link somewhere in here for it. But he's done a, he's done a, a three-pound tomahawk uh, ribeye on it, which turned out good. He loved it. He's done ribs on it. <coughs> I told him, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to do my, uh, my first video on it. Let's do a collaboration. Let's cook the same thing. Him back east in Oklahoma, me out west in California. <coughs> he did ribs last night, so I said, well, I'm going to do a pork butt. Let's do pork butt and do pulled pork on it, because I know when I do pork butts on the offset smoker behind me, I, uh, it's an all-day deal. Checking the temp, keeping it going. Supposedly, we may not have to do this with this. I don't know. We'll check it out. This might cut the time a little bit. I don't know. I hope because I got somewhere to be at two o'clock today. Softball game tournament. Not playing. Watching. Cook a pork butt in the barrel house cooker. I keep wanting to say barrel house smoker, but it's a cooker because it has some other features on it, and I'll show you those a little as the day goes on. Hey, before I uh, before I set this one up, the barrel house cooker over here on the uh, little pad I made for it that I gotta re-engineer a little bit. I wanted to compare the difference. Now, me and a buddy of mine, buddy of mine and I, I'm not I'm not an English teacher. We're we're in the process of building us some ugly drum smokers, and I wanted to show you comparison the difference in size. I. I this is hard to move around because it's bulky. You know, I don't want to carry that up to Lake Isabella next week for the fishing derby. Uh, where the little barrel house cooker, Grandma next door can use it. I, I can set her up with some ribs or something, have her load it because she can. She can just lift it. Okay, so I, I think that's a, a big advantage over some of these other uh, big drum smokers that. It's lightweight. It's easy. You can move it around. Uh, it goes. It fit in a trunk of a car, if you have to. The hatchback, little minivan. You, uh, you know, soccer mom. You could take you. Here's a thought. Now, Rico's thinking. I need to go to a soccer game. Need to set this up. A couple hours or so before the soccer game run. You know what? I could be doing stuff in here, and uh, hey, I'll be, I'll be the hit of the town of the soccer moms. Let me tell you. Anywho, guys, I hope uh, <clears throat> hope you I piqued your interest in this cooker. I hope you watch the uh, the, the the pork butt I'm going to be putting on here in about 15-20 minutes.